I'm Ann-Katrin Schneider and I'm the South Asia Director of the NGO International Rivers. We've been around for about 20 years working on dams and rivers all over the world. In our South Asia work we have a new focus now on dam building in the Himalayas because the Himalayas is really the one region in the world and especially the one region in South Asia where we see a dam building boom where we see that all those countries in the region like Nepal and Pakistan and India and even Bhutan they want to build most of their dams in the future they want to build a in those mountainous regions with these fast and wild rivers and on those rivers that have for now not so many dams but in the future like these countries are planning to build most of their dams high up in the Himalayas. So we decided to look into these dam building plans of the regions to assess and to really find out what are the risks of these dams that are being planned, how expensive will these dams be, what will be the social impacts of these dams, what will be the environment mental consequences of these dams and also what will be the benefits because of course most of these projects are being planned because the region has high energy demands I mean look at India look at Pakistan there's high growth rates in these countries so more and more people want to get access to electricity of course and Shripa Damadikari the author of this report which is called mountains of concrete dam building in the Himalayas he found out that most of the dams that are being planned will be very expensive projects because they're high up in the Himalayan mountains. It's really expensive to build these large dams there, so the consequence will be that the electricity that's generated will also be really expensive. So what he fears is that the poor people will not actually get access to electricity with the help of these dams because it's very likely that the electricity will be sold at a high price. For example, if you just look at Nepal, there most of the large projects that generate a lot of electricity are actually meant for the export of electricity to India. So even though most of the people in Nepal do not have access to electricity in their homes, most of the electricity that will be generated by the large dams is planned to be exported to India. Another aspect that the author of the report looked at was the nexus between climate change and dam building in the Himalayas. The Himalayas is a region that's affected by climate change much more than any other region in the world. We see especially the glaciers in the Himalayas, we see them melting faster than any other glaciers in the world. Most of the rivers that come from the Himalayas are glacier-fed rivers. So it means that if glaciers are melting, for the rivers it means that they will carry a lot of water for some years in the future, but after that, they will carry much less water. So the question for dam building is then really the safety of dams and also the economic benefits of dams, the efficiency of dams. You can only create electricity or generate hydropower electricity if you have a certain amount of water running through the rivers. So if you imagine that after maybe 10, 20, 30 years when the glaciers will have melted, there will be much less possibility to generate hydropower from these rivers. So what we are really asking the governments of the region to do is to go back to the drawing board and be considering climate change and the changes that will happen to the waters, not only to the glacier, but also to rain and snowfall in the Himalayas in the future, in the coming years. Approximately 2 billion people live along these rivers downstream of the Himalayas, along the Brahmaputra, along the Ganges, the Indus Delta. So if the rivers are changed, if for example because of the dams the rivers will carry less water at certain times of the year, even people downstream, even people in the Indus Delta in Pakistan or even people in Bangladesh will feel the changes because they depend for their agriculture, for their livelihoods, they depend on these rivers.